Tolls Coppers, Her Majesty the Queen. I have another shipment, it's from UK. And let's check together what we have inside. Uh, okay. Here we, go, here we go. That's a nice small box. Let's check what is inside. I bought some jewelry, probably this is the content, but I have so many shipments, I have no idea. Let's open this. Oh yes, these are small pieces, broken jewelry and stuff. Let's quickly open and check. Here we go, so some pearls. Some low carat gold. This one is earring with and some other pearl. So what I'll do with this scrap material? This is nine carat gold. I will quickly process it and refine to 24 karat gold. Let's go. What is the next step? I removed all the pearls and all plastic and um, stuff that is uh, not needed. And what is left is the gold. So this is all marked as 9 karat gold. Let's check the weight. 9.5 so we can calculate is it true or not. So it's at about 1.2 grams, 1.26 grams, 9 karat gold. Good, so this means that we are expecting in the worst case scenario at about 0.4 maybe, grams of gold from this scrap jewelry. Let's see, let's go to the lab. Now we are in the lab and what we need is to dissolve our scrap jewelry. Let's put them in hydrochloric acid. This is hydrochloric or muriatic acid. 35%, uh, 33% at about. So when I put the metal inside, this is supposed to be 9 karat gold, of course nothing happens. Uh, I started heating at about 100 degrees and I will start to slowly add nitric acid now. Let's see if this will dissolve the gold. So I will add at about probably 1 to 2 milliliters of nitric acid because it's really small amount of metal, it's at about one gram. So you see reaction started immediately. This solution is turning yellow. Uh, I'll start my ventilation and let's wait and see if all gold will dissolve. Because my biggest concern here is that in some of these pieces maybe we have silver. And when you have a lot of silver, silver is blocking gold from dissolving in aqua regia. So that's the issue with the carrot gold. I wait a little and show you the result. Will all this stuff dissolve or not? Starting the ventilation now. We are almost there, almost dissolved. You see the color is not the nice yellow. So I will add one more milliliter of nitric acid just to be sure that we'll dissolve all the metal. And because my calculation is that we'll probably need it about three milliliters to this 100% be sure we dissolved all the metal. So let's add half milliliter more and we have three now. So, so you see how quick the reaction started in this part where we still have some metal. Let's wait a couple of more minutes. So the whole process will take probably no more than 10 minutes. Okay guys, reaction stopped and now I can filter this solution. So let's see what is left on the filter. It's hot. 
we still see some nitric oxides so besides the dirt that we have had some goo and some other stuff a lot of dirt actually I see inside I don't see solid metal but I hear solid metal so let's try to rinse this well oh there is some goo from all these pearls and stuff so yeah it's a lot of dirt but that's okay that's why we filter now to remove all the dirt and there is one piece left I hear one metal piece inside let's try to do like this and clean this beaker so yes that's exactly what I was talking about look inside so you see certain metal pieces that didn't dissolve this is because there is a lot of silver and this silver is blocking the gold from dissolving let me show you with some nitric acid I'll put some nit nitric acid inside so it's concentrated nitric acid here it is And you can see that there are a couple of metal pieces that didn't dissolve. You can even hear them. So how to take the gold from them? I have to melt them. I have to melt them with some copper to reduce the carrot. I should go from 9 to something like 6 carat and then they will dissolve. That's what I should do now. In this solution we have some gold probably. I don't know. But we also have these small pieces. And this is gold that is with high silver percentage. That's why it cannot dissolve in aqua regia. So let's remove and let's add some iron sulfate just to check if we will precipitate some gold. Is there any gold in this solution at all? You see how the color changes? This means there is some gold probably. Let me put some more. And that's the moment when you realize that you didn't get rid of the nitric acid. So I'll put some urea. Let's put some urea. You see how much foam we have? That's the nitric acid. And we have to remove the nitri nitric acid before precipitating our gold. Here we go. You see? When it stops bubbling, this means we removed our nitric acid. Let's add a little bit more. I think we are ready. And when you do this, when you add urea to denox your solution, the solution must be hot. You cannot do this room temperature. Otherwise, you will not remove all the nitric acid and then you have an issue when you try to precipitate your gold. Let's add now our iron sulfate and see if we have any gold inside. Oh yes, we do look at the reaction so that's our gold solution is pretty hot let's add some more so to precipitate the gold what you need you need volume you don't need extremely concentrated solution that's important and the second thing heat so usually when you have these two 
you will precipitate your gold. We are ready. Let's see this solution now for probably at about one hour. Then let's check our gold at the end. Hello guys. So that's the gold. <laughs> a really, really small amount. I just glazed this crucible. Maybe you can hear it how the borax is cracking. But um, I hope to have 0.2 grams in this, uh, in this gold. I'll melt it and show you in a minute. Oh, look at this beauty. How yellowish, how nice and yellowish it is. Let's measure it. It's not a lot, but it's quite pure. Nice gold. 0 0.24 grams of really pure gold because look at the color. It's so nice. So yeah, wish. 0 0.26, let's say 0 0.25. 0 0.25 grams of gold. It's not bad. Thanks for watching. Keep scrapping and don't forget to recover your gold at the end. Bye.